Hey, what's going on everybody? So in today's video, we're going to create a random number generator. But first I need to explain how to create a random number in JavaScript. Let's store our random number within a variable which we will name random num. To create a random number in JavaScript, we can use the random method of math. Math.random method. This will generate a random number between zero and one. Uh, but it looks like we forgot to output our random number. So let's do that with console.log. Console.log random num. This will generate a random number between zero and one. It will give us a number with a long decimal portion, most likely. Let's say we would like to roll a six sided dice. I need a random number between one and six, not including the decimal portion. So the first step is that we will multiply math.random times six. What this will do is give us a random number between zero and six exclusive. Now I don't want the decimal portion. I would like a whole integer. We'll enclose this equation with the floor method of math, math.floor. Then we will enclose our equation. So now we have, oops, it looks like I misspelled math. It should be capital there. So far, a random number is going to be between zero and five. So there's zero. And there's five. But I need one through six. Well, we can increase the minimum by adding plus one or whatever you want the minimum to be. So now that should give us a random number between one and six. There's six. And there's one. For a random number between one and 100, I can set the maximum to be 100 math.random times 100 plus one. So now the number is going to be between one and 100. If you're looking for a random number between a certain range, let's say 50 and 100. Well, we're going to change our equation. Just to make this easier to read, I'm going to set two constants. Const min, what's the minimum? Let's say 50. And the max, const max, will be 100. Let's replace 100 with our maximum and one with our minimum. There's one additional change we need to make. For example, our random number is 139. We're multiplying math.random times 100, our maximum, then adding an additional 50 to it. So one change we're gonna make is that we will subtract our minimum from our maximum. Then I will surround this portion of our equation with a set of parentheses just to force operator precedence. Now the random number should be between 50 and 100. So depending on the range of numbers you're looking for, you can change the minimum and the maximum. All right, now with that out of the way, let's create our random number generator. Let's go to our HTML file. I will create a button. The ID will be my button. The text on the button will be roll. We will roll a six sided dice. Within our CSS style sheet, I will set the text of the body of our document the font family I will set to be Verdana because I like that font. To center align everything, to make this easy, I will set text align center. All right, we're getting somewhere. Let's work on the button. I will select the ID of my button. I will change the font size of the button to be 3EM, meaning 300%. I'll add a little bit of padding within our button five pixels by 25 pixels and I will set the border radius to be five pixels just to smooth the corners. We're also going to need a label. So let's go back to our HTML file. I will add a label with an ID of my label. Within our CSS style sheet, I will select the ID of my label then change the font size to be 3EM. So be sure to save your CSS file, save your HTML file, then within our JavaScript file, we will need to get our button and the label. We'll store those within some constants. Const my button equals document dot get element by ID. The ID of the element we're getting is my button. Then we will need to get my label. My label 
the ID is my label. Let's set a minimum. Const min equals, I'll set that to be one as if we're rolling a six-sided dice. Const max equals six. Then let random num. We'll declare our random number variable, but not assign it quite yet. Okay, when we click on the button, we'll execute a function. We will take my button with the on click attribute. I will set this equal to a function. What's the function going to do? It's going to roll a random number. Random num equals math.random times our maximum. We'll enclose this equation with math.floor to round it. Math.floor, then add our minimum. Then we will change the text content of my label to display it. My label.text content equals our random num. When we click on the button, it should roll a random number. Uh, what are we missing? Not a number. Oh, okay, it looks like I made a mistake. I forgot to add a set of parentheses after random. There we go. I'm going to put the number on a new line. So within our HTML file, I'm just going to add a break tag. There we go. Let's save everything. Roll again. So I rolled a six, three, one, two, five, three. Let's say we would like to roll three dice, not just one. We'll make a few changes. I will replace my label with label one for the ID. Then I'm going to add a break after. OK, let's copy our label, paste it two times. We'll need labels two and three. I'll also give these labels a class of my labels. We can apply CSS styling to an entire class to make it easy. All right, within our CSS style sheet, let's replace the ID of my label with the class of my labels. Be sure to save all of your files. Then within our JavaScript file, let's replace my label with label one. The ID is label one. Copy this line of code. Then we need labels two and three. Label two, label three. Let's rename random num as random num one. Copy it, paste it two times. Then we need random number two, random number three. Within our function for our button, change random num to be random num one. Copy this line, paste it two times. Then we need random number two, random number three. We'll change the text content of my label to be label one equals random num one, copy this line, paste it two times, change one to be two. Then for the third line, change one to be three. What we'll do now is generate three random numbers between one and six, as if we're rolling three dice. Two, three, two, three, six, one, two, two, five. All right, everybody, that's how to create a random number generator in JavaScript.